Hello fellow investors, welcome to my Hindsight Master channel. In this series, you will learn about a Bursa listed company in 10 minutes. The topics are mainly on its business, development and financial health. This month, it is my pleasure to have Justice League superhero Aquaman as our guest. They made me what I am. A son of the land, the king of the seas. I am the protector of the deep. I am. Been to Luport. Bport is Malaysia only and world's second largest LNG export terminal. One, Bport is located in Bintulu, Sarawak, which is at the center of Brunei, Indonesia, Malaysia, and Philippines. BRNP. Two, Bport is blessed with Sarawak's rich natural resources such as hydropower, natural gas, and timber. Three, Bport benefits from the government development under the SCORE program. Hence, Bport enjoys substantial advantage from natural, geographical, and human resources perspective as a port. Due to the abundance of natural gas in central Lukonil field along the Sarawak Bintulu coast, the government established Bintulu Port in 1983 to be the export port for liquefied natural gas LNG of Petronas. Initially, the port was controlled by the Bintulu Port Authority under the Ministry of Transport. In 1993, the government decided to prioritize their port operation to B Port for a period of 30 years, and the lease term could be extended for another 30 years to 2052. After prioritization, B Port is responsible for port management and development, while the Bintulu Port Authority remains the port's regulatory body, controlling the tariff policy. Bport must pay an annual lease rental. Under the blueprint of Sarawak Corridor of Renewable Energy score, the Sarawak government attracts many heavy industries to set up factories in Samlaju Industrial Park and appointed Bport as Samlaju Port Operator. The contract is 30 years and can be extended for another 20 years. Samlaju Port Phase 1 is fully operational in June 2017. Both Bintulu and Samlaju ports are unique. In addition to its excellent location, which attracts many shipping lines, the seabed of the port has a depth of 11 to 15 meters, suitable for large ships. The current mainline operators include Evergreen Marine, SITC Container Lines, and Harbour Link Lines. The turnover of the port is calculated via the formula cargo throughput times the tariff imposed on the customer. Revenue equals to volumes time price. From the perspective of volume, Bintulu Port's throughput is categorized into 1. LNG cargo, 2. Non LNG cargo, and 3. Container. B Port's turnover is based on the vessel core of LNG, which is not affected by the price fluctuation of LNG. All LNG production comes from Malaysia LNG under Petronas. Since Petronas has signed long-term contracts with its LNG customers from Japan, South Korea, and China, Petronas and Bport have signed contracts for 15 to 20 years as well. Petronas' ninth LNG train has been in operation since 2017, so production capacity will increase from the original 25 million tons to 30 million tons per annum. Currently, LNG is from Central Lukonil Field of Bintulu Coast and Petronas expects supply to be maintained until 2045. Coupled with the possibility that new natural gas reserves such as Gamesut, Kapkap, Malikai, Kebambangan can be discovered and new technologies can increase production, the supply of natural gas is literally endless. Natural gas is one of the few renewable energy fields, accounting for 22% of the world's energy. Therefore, under the continuous supply and demand of LNG, Bport's business will prosper for a long term. However, due to the breakdown in LNG pipeline, exports in LNG dropped significantly in 2018 Q2 and Q3, which has also greatly affected Bport business. 
Currently, the LNG pipeline has been repaired and operational in November 2018. Beeport's main non-LNG cargo are palm oil, wood, paper bulk, petroleum products, dry bulk and more. Beeport is the largest palm oil export terminal in Malaysia, accounting for 25% of total palm oil export in Malaysia. The port also handles fertilizer import for oil palm industry. The main customers of palm oil are Wilma Group 50%, Sam Dabi and Sarawak Oil Palm. Beeport is the hub for all wood-based shipments, which includes sawn timber, veneer and plywood from Sabah, Sarawak and Kalimantan in Indonesia. Beeport's new conveyor belt system enhances productivity in handling of wood chip. The dry bulk includes imports of raw materials such as aluminium oxide, silica, manganese and etc. Beeport's container terminal is smaller than Port Klang and Port Tanjung Pelepas, but it is the largest container port in Sabah and Sarawak. Their efficiency, 28 gross move per hour per crane, is higher than the international average of 26 move. Beeport's second port, Samalaju Port, will be the growth driver for Beeport. The government wants to develop Sarawak into an advanced state by 2020. That's the reason SCORE, Sarawak Corridor of Renewable Energy, was set up. One of the key developments is Samlaju Industrial Park. Due to Sarawak's rich commodities and cheap hydropower, from Bakun Dam, Hurun Dam and the future Balai Dam, several heavy industry companies have invested in Samlaju Industrial Park, including Press Matter, Tokuyama, OM Materials, etc. The utilization of Samalaju port is only 13% in 2017 and is expected to increase to 61% in 2019. Samalaju port phase 1 can handle 18 million tons of cargo. The company has terminated phase 2 expansion by Muhiba and expects to develop phase 2 if phase 1 reaches 80% optimization. The three main risks of B port are 1. Bintulu Port Authority is expected to reduce LNG tariffs and directly affect B Port's profitability. However, B Port is also actively negotiating for an increase in non LNG tariff and reduction in lease rental. 2. Over dependence on single customer, Petronas. LNG to non LNG cargo mix was 54% to 46% in 2018. Beeport is targeting cargo mix of 38% to 62% by 2022. 3. The government has restricted the increase in production of palm oil and timber extraction, which directly affects the export volume. As for management, Beeport Group CEO Dato Muhammad Medan Abdullah just took office in March 2017. Dato was the CEO of MLNG, so he is familiar with the operation of Beeport. Some of the largest shareholders are Petronas, State Financial Secretary of Sarawak and its subsidiaries Equiza Assets Sunrem Bahad, Kwak and EPF, which accounted for 82%. Other major shareholders are government agencies such as Lembaga Tabung Haji and Amana Raya Trustee Bahad. Beeport's asset has increased due to the development of Samlaju Industrial Park. Net intangible asset jumped in 2009 due to a change in accounting policy, which ranged from PPE to intangible assets. As for liabilities, since the development of Samlaju Port requires 1.8 billion, Beeport has issued a 950 million Islamic bond, Sukuk, to finance the development. The remaining finances are from government grant. Sarawak State and cash from Beeport. Sukuk has a tenure of 20 years and profit rate amounted to highest 5.6%. As for profit, both 2018 Q2 and Q3 has declined due to breakdown in MLNG's LNG pipeline. Earnings is expected to recover in Q4. The cost of Beeport is also stable, as most of the costs such as lease rental, maintenance costs and staff costs are fixed. Beeport usually pays a special dividend in Q4. In summary, Beeport is expected to prosper from 1. 
rapid growth of Samlaju Port underscore. 2. Recovery of LNG operations in November 2018. And 3. Resourceful Sarawak. Key risks are 1. A reduction in LNG tariff. 2. Over dependence on a single customer. And 3. Government restrictions. I am a son of the land, a king of the seas. I am Bin Tulu Port. Even Aquaman has extended his support, hence you should subscribe as well. If you want to learn more about the B-Pod, you can read the following analyst reports or newspapers. Thank you.